why you should stop chasing him and make him chase you. The first major reason you should stop chasing men is that it damages your self-worth. When you're constantly pursuing a man and making sacrifices to get his attention, it communicates that you believe you need to compensate for not being good enough for him as you are. You're sending the signal that he's the prize and you're lucky to be with him. This destroys your value in his eyes and prevents him from seeing you as an equal partner. It also takes a major tool on your self-esteem over time. You start to think you're not worthy of real love unless you convince a man to want you. This leaves you stuck in a cycle of chasing unresponsive men in an effort to prove your worth. Stop this cycle by refusing to chase men and validation any longer. Know your worth of period. Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk about a topic that so many of us struggle with, chasing after a guy we like. We've all been there before. You meet a great guy, you hit it off, you start dating, and then suddenly he pulls away and starts acting distant. Your first instinct is probably to chase after him harder and convince him to stay interested in you. But I'm here today to tell you that is absolutely the wrong move. If a man is pulling away or losing interest, chasing after him will only push him further away. Instead, you need to make him chase you. I know it can feel counterintuitive, but trust me when I say men love the chase. If you make it too easy for him, he'll quickly lose interest. But if you pull away instead, you'll spark his interest and make him work for your attention. In this video, I'm going to explain why chasing men never works and how to stop chasing and make him chase you instead. This will not only make him more interested, but it will make you feel more confident and empowered in your relationships moving forward. Here are the key reasons you should stop chasing men and tips to get him chasing you. Reason 1. It damages your self-worth. Reason 2. It gives him all the power. When you chase a man, you hand over all of the power in the relationship to him. He controls how things progress. While you anxiously wait around for crumbs of affection, he decides when to text you, when to make plans, when to pull away, and when to give you attention again. You have no control over the situation. But when you stop chasing him and give him space to come to you, you take some of that power back. You control your availability, your options, and how you allow him to treat you. This balances the scales. Men enjoy and value a challenge, so don't make it too easy for him. Let him wonder about you, miss you, and realize your value. This will motivate him to step up his efforts. Reason 3. Men love the chase. Countless relationship experts agree that men absolutely love the chase. This goes back to primitive times when men had to pursue and win over a mate. So chasing him goes against his natural instincts. Men enjoy competing for a woman's affections and winning her over. But when you're always available and making it obvious you like him, there's no challenge for him to get you. He'll quickly get bored. However, when you stop chasing him and give him space, his instincts kick in and he begins to chase you. When you respond warmly but also make him work for your time and attention, he'll be utterly drawn in. Play hard to get, not impossibly hard to get. Give him hope while also making him realize you have options. He'll step up his game. Reason 4. It repels him. This may seem counterintuitive, but chasing a man often pushes him away. Men are attracted to women who have self-respect and won't bend over backwards for a man's attention. When you chase him, he sees you as desperate and too easy to get. This kills the excitement, challenge, and attraction. But when you stop showing interest and focus on your own fulfillment, it draws him in. He's no longer sure he has you wrapped around his finger, which shakes up his ego. Don't be too available, reactive, or eager to chase him. Pull back and make him come after you for once. He'll be shaking in his boots, wondering if he's losing you. This re-sparks attraction. Reason 5. You deserve better treatment. 
This ties back to the self-worth issue. Ladies, we all deserve to be with a man who wants to chase us, who wants to make an effort to win us over. You should never have to convince a real man to treat you like a priority in his life. The right man will do this naturally. And if you're chasing a man, constantly trying to keep his interest, he's just not that into you. When you chase him, you're settling for less than you deserve. Stop, take a step back, and look for a man who chases you. Raise your standards. Refuse to chase or tolerate lazy, low-effort relationships any longer. Any high-value woman knows her worth and expects men to recognize it too. Tips to make him chase you. Now let's get into some useful tips on how to specifically get him interested in chasing you. Tip 1. Pull back and create some distance. Don't be the one to initiate contact as often. Let him come to you. Men enjoy initiating more than women typically do. Give him the opportunity. Tip 2. Don't react or hang on to his every text. Take longer and longer to respond to his messages. Match his energy. Mirror him. Stay busy living your best life. Tip 3. Don't drop everything for him last minute. If he texts you late at night or calls you for a last minute date, politely decline. Say you have other plans already. Make him plan ahead to see you. Tip 4. Invest your time and energy into yourself, not him. Pick up a new hobby. Make exciting plans with friends. Focus on your goals. Be less available to hang out with him. He will wonder what's going on in your life and pursue you. Tip 5. Compliment him less. Men love working to earn your praise. Don't inflate his ego too much in the beginning. Make him work for those compliments. Tip 6. Date other men and talk about it vaguely. Jealousy can be an effective motivator. Suddenly let him know you have options and a vibrant social life. Fear of competition will light a fire under him. Tip 7. Stop trying to impress him. Talk less about yourself and take interest in him instead. Ask him deep questions. Be comfortable in silence around him. Let him work to gain your continued interest and approval. Tip 8. Set boundaries and standards early on. Don't tolerate flakes, ghosts, breadcrumbing, or disrespect. Walk away at the first red flag and make him realize your worth. Tip 9. Don't sleep with him too soon. Make him invest time dating you first. Men value women who don't treat intimacy casually. Make him earn this privilege. Tip 10. When he pulls back, you pull back for them. Match his energy always. Never chase harder than he does. This is hard, but so effective. The key takeaway here is to stop chasing him. Focus on your fulfillment and make him come to you. Reward his efforts by giving him more of your time, attention, and affection. But when he pulls away, you pull away for them. Match his energy always. If you stick to this, he won't know what hit him. Conclusion. So there you have it ladies, the top reasons you should stop chasing men, and how to make him chase you instead. I know this feels counterintuitive, but trust that this works incredibly well when you commit to it fully. You deserve a man who is excited to pursue you, not one you have to drag along. Have confidence in your work, prioritize your needs first, and let him come to you. You don't need to convince any man to see your value. The right man will cherish you effortlessly. Expect nothing less. If you like my advice, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting new content every week for women who want to build their confidence and attract lasting love. Let me know what topics you want me to cover next. Wishing you all nothing but healthy and satisfying relationships. Thanks for watching.